Welcome to this informative video where we'll be exploring the world of maintenance and operations. I'm Ryan Chan, CEO and founder of Upkeep, and today we'll be discussing a critical tool known as Root Cause Analysis, or RCA. We'll be diving into some common mistakes that can render this tool ineffective and how you can avoid falling into these pitfalls. Whether you're part of a maintenance or operations team, this video will provide you with valuable insights to help you improve your RCA and ensure successful outcomes. So let's get started. In the world of maintenance and operations, root cause analysis, or RCA, is a critical tool. But there are common mistakes that can make the process ineffective. Let's dive into some of these pitfalls and how to avoid them. Firstly, a common mistake is not quite defining the problem accurately. The key to a successful root cause analysis is defining the problem well. It's not enough to just say something is wrong. You need to dig into the specifics of when it occurs, how prevalent it is, and any domino effects it causes. Many businesses don't get specific enough about the actual problem, leading their RCA down the wrong path. Next, let's talk about focusing on the wrong thing. This is another frequent issue. Sometimes there's a tendency to go on odd tangents instead of focusing on the root processes. For instance, if you need to rework a corrective maintenance task performed last week, you might end up looking too much at your people and not enough at procedures. Instead, a better route would be to see how your maintenance processes might have failed to account for human error. Unlike personal issues, that's something you can change. On the flip side, another common mistake is taking your RCA too narrow. If you have a complex systemic issue, you'll need to account for multiple contributing causes, not just one. Yet many companies often focus on just one issue to the exclusion of all else. To solve this problem, Use a tool that will help you look at multiple factors, like a fault tree analysis or a fishbone diagram. Lastly, ignoring the results is a mistake that can render your RCA pointless. Once you get some potential root causes, you need to make plans based on your findings. Teams will sometimes revert to the more superficial causes in their analysis, ignoring the root causes entirely. In doing so, they end up treating symptoms rather than problems. Ignoring data is actually pretty common. For example, oil rigs might ignore 99% of their sensor data. Management teams might ignore the true causes of their problems. So, when you get to the end of your RCA, make sure to find solutions to the root problems you find first. In conclusion, to avoid these common RCA mistakes, remember to define the problem accurately, focus on the right things, consider multiple contributing causes, and most importantly, act on the results. By doing so, you'll ensure that your root cause analysis is effective and beneficial to your operations. Thank you for watching this video. We've explored the importance of root cause analysis, common mistakes, and how to avoid them. Remember, key to successful RCA is defining the problem accurately, focusing on the right things, considering multiple contributing causes, and acting on the results. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. For further information and resources, visit our website at upkeep.com.